Hey, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com, and I'm going to build the basics of an event source grain in Orleans. All right, so I'm back in our practical Orleans project that I have uh, that I've been using in subsequent videos. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be using a pretty stereotypical example of a bank account. So that's really the first step is that we're going to create um, a couple of classes that are going to represent events for a deposited event and a withdrawn event. And both of these will extend this bank account event abstract class. So there's nothing special about these events. Um, you'll see why I created a base abstract class here in a second. But this is kind of just simple POCOs to define um, basically your events within your that you're going to specify that you're going to emit raise from within your grain. So that's the first step. All right, so let's implement now our bank account state. Um, so this is kind of the last piece of the puzzle. And <clears throat> What it is here is what journal grain also does for us is once we call raise event, it will take the event that we've passed to it and it will look at what our bank account state is that we defined here. And it will call the appropriate apply method. So if we've raised a deposited event, it will call the apply method. And then all we're doing here is we have our balance, which represents our current state. And we're going to be adding to it, or if we call the raise the withdrawn event, we'll call the apply method as well, um, and then just reduce our balance. So that's how we get our current state. Um, and then I, as well here, our balance method from our grain is just returning our state.balance, which is as of it is today, like I said, current state. So that's a full-fledged implemented event source grain using the journaled grain. So what I'm not showing here and what our next step is going to be is persisting these events to some external storage so that when we our grain needs to be initialized, that we can pull out all the events from storage, replay them, meaning reapply all the, the events so that we get to our current state, to our current balance. If you want to check out this code, it's on GitHub. I also have a blog that outlines exactly what is in this file and what's been in this video. So check the link in the description to get all the, the code and to apply it yourself and to see the series that I have called Practical Orleans on CodeOpinion.com. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more .NET related videos. Thanks.